Hey guys, it's Kyle. I wanted to do this update for you guys just to let you know how my follicular, I hope I said that right, my follicular ultrasound went. And um, I had it done, sorry the camera shakes anytime the dog jumps. Um, when did I have it done? I had it done Friday and today is Monday. So I just had it done a couple days ago and they do it on day three of your cycle. And she said everything looks great. She said I'm really fertile, which is awesome. And um, it just kind of felt good hearing that from a doctor. And um, Chris and I, you know, Chris wasn't there, but um, Chris and I have decided together that, you know, we want to do the IUI with the Clomid. So um, after that, she just went over with me the um, effects or side effects you can have from Clomid and the chances of us having multiples and you know that kind of stuff so pretty much I had a panic attack before I took the first pill of Clomid because I just always felt in my head like Clomid's gonna make me have like 500 babies <laughs> so I had to call my best friend she talked me through it and I was able to get that first pill down but um it's been fine ever since. I always make a big deal over nothing. Um, I was also afraid to take it because of the side effects I've heard, and I've heard horror stories about people, you know, getting sick off of it. And because I'm a hundred pounds soaking wet, she only has me on 50 milligrams. So I can't say that if I was on the normal dose that I wouldn't feel those things. Because I mean, I don't know. I probably, I probably would be sensitive to it. So I'm only on the 50 milligrams of Clomid. I took my third pill last night, so I'll be taking my fourth pill tonight, and I will have one more after that, and then I'm done. I really cannot say if I felt any side effects from the Clomid or if it was from this stinking heat that we've been having in eastern Pennsylvania. It is horrible. Like, this past weekend, I think, was the hottest weekend I've ever lived through. Like, Saturday... I literally thought that I was melting. <laughs> it was disgusting. So I got a little bit dizzy and I had a headache, like a dull one. And it was in the back of my head. Like I never had a headache back there before. So I honestly can't say if that was because of the Clomid or if it was, you know, a combination of the, the heat and the Clomid. So yeah, I don't know about that. But other than that, I haven't felt anything, which is awesome because I'm almost done so I've been counting my lucky stars for that that I had a good experience with it and then Chris and I will go in for the IUI whenever I get my positive OPK well I'll get my positive OPK and then I go in the very next day because the OPK is like obviously the predictor of when you're going to ovulate so soon I guess I'm gonna start taking my OPKs tonight and she said she wants me to see a few negatives first before I see the positive just so she knows and I know that the positive wasn't some random fluke or whatever. Um, I'm pretty much an expert at OPKs now and I only take the digitals and I'm only taking the digitals for this one so I'll be 100% sure of when I get it. Um, there's other ways for patients to tell when you know they're going to ovulate one would be an ultrasound and another one would be the trigger shot but none of that's covered under my insurance so we're just gonna try it this way since I have a lot of good luck with the OPKs and I always seem to get a positive right around my 14th or 15th day without medication so that's what we're going with our fingers are crossed we've been praying a lot um, Chris has been changing a little bit and just getting more excited which makes me excited um, he talks about He's home now. He just ran three miles in this heat. He's ridiculous. Um, he's been talking about buying diapers with coupons and, you know, baby wipes. It's just really cute. But um, he's home now, so I'm going to go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Your prayers, your support, your encouragement, it means the absolute world to me. And I, got, I guess I'll keep you updated after the IUI.